Mahershala Ali. Yes. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. You know, you are not just one of my favorite human beings, one of my favorite actors, but you're also one of the, the most calming forces in my life. I'll take that. Yeah. I, thank you. I was thinking about that thank today you. before the interview. I was like, I don't think I know anybody. Like, if I was in a plane crash, which I wouldn't want to be, right. I would hope to be in that with you because I feel like <laughs> you would be the ultimate calm. I've never seen you panic. We could die calmly together. Yeah, just calmly. I feel like you would look over at me and you'd be like, well, Trevor, it's over. This is it. <laughs> this is it. You know what I mean? Uh, you, just, you just got that calming spirit. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Good to be here. Yeah, man. man the last yeah. time you were here, you, I mean, you were just on your way to one of the most successful journeys of all time. Since the last time you've been on the show, you have won, what is it, two Oscars, an Emmy, a Golden Globe. You know, whether it's House of Cards, whether it's True Detective, whether it's been Moonlight, every Everything you have touched has turned to gold. It, you know, it's been a whirlwind. Yeah. And I want to know what it's been like for you. We've enjoyed watching it, but what yeah. has it been like for you? Well, hearing you say it all, it's just a, a great reminder to be grateful. Yeah. You know, um, I, I have had an opportunity to work on some amazing projects with amazing people, wonderful actors, and, and that's the, that, that has been the dream for me. Um, and this moment, Specifically, all of that building up to an opportunity to to play this role right. and lead a film and work opposite of Naomi Harris and Glenn Close and it's pretty phenomenal. You know, I'm I, I feel very blessed. When you looked at creating this story, you know, it's one thing to act in yeah. a film. Yeah. It's one thing to be part of the cast, but that extra weight that comes with being the producer, that extra weight that comes with being really the mm. force behind the movie. Like, did that add more pressure to you or did you enjoy the creative power that it gave you over the project? You know what? I don't think it added more pressure because I feel that pressure without the power anyway. Oh, so okay. you feel that, you feel, you feel that there's decisions being made and the film is gonna be impacted. You're gonna be impacted personally as an actor, however this turns out, without the producer's title and without the influence of a producer. So at least, when you have the title and you have a seat at the table, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, there's an opportunity for you to make that pressure more active. And you can say, hey, I think we should maybe, you know, think about this person in that position. Right, right, or, right. Or what are we doing about, you know, uh, the, the sound cue or the edit or whatever. Like any of those ideas that pop up where you may have to sit in the theater and watch it and feel like, ah, that could have been different in the process of making the film, you have a voice there now. So. You've used the voice well, man. Swan Thank Song you. is fantastic. Thank you. Like, I'm a, I'm a big you. fan of sci-fi. I'm a big fan of, you know, the thrillers or the ideas that come with them. And, yeah. and this movie, it felt like it was taking me on multiple journeys. And it felt like an allegory about life and family as a whole, you know? Yeah. The, you, I don't spoil this for people, but you play a man who receives a terminal uh, diagnosis. Yeah and his life is ostensibly over. Yeah. But he has the opportunity and the choice to decide whether or not to just go out yeah. or to clone himself so his family doesn't have to go through that suffering. I mean, the yes. premise is insane, but it speaks to, like, larger concepts of life. Yeah, it does. It does. And, and it's a very... That's what drew me to the project was this... the premise and the dilemma. But I think what really kind of locked me in was just how human the story felt. Yeah and the fact that it was in the not too distant future. So all of the tech and the sci-fi of it all was very, very relatable. And it didn't get in the way of, of the human issue, the human dilemma. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and so, and, and, and it's funny. So just going throughout this journey with this character, you kind of get to a point at the end of it where you go like, well, what is the answer in all this? Is it just to clone yourself? And I, and I think, you know, for me, what I ended up walking away from with it is, 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 is that it's about being as present as possible in the mm. life that we have and, and trying our best to, to meet the potential that's in us and, and to wake that up, you know? And it, we don't have to necessarily have a death sentence um, or be aware of this ticking clock yeah. to, to wake up our potential. You know, when I, when I was watching the film, I couldn't help thinking about some of the conversations I've had with you and some of the things I've heard you say in and around time and yeah. how we spend it as human beings. I remember one of the things that stuck with me the most is just as your, your, your star was shooting, just as yeah. your name was buzzing everywhere, you very clearly stated that, hey, I'm, I'm also trying to win an Oscar with my family. To me, the real definition of success is, is being able to be 
to be whole in every aspect of your life. Right, so right, I right. think the career thing that everybody sees is beautiful and, and amazing and shiny, but it's you gotta be, what are the other parts of yourself right. that, that you have to be fulfilled in and who are the other people that need to know your presence? And to me, that is, that is success. So it, it doesn't necessarily come with a trophy, you know, but it, it does come in that fulfillment. I honestly love the journey that you're on, you know, because it, it's yeah. wonderful to watch and it seems like you're enjoying it as well, whether it's fashion, you know, whether it's movies or television, behind the camera, in front yeah. of the camera. I'm not gonna lie, one of my favorite, just favorite things of all time was seeing that you're gonna play Blade. Yeah. That, that for me, you know, Blade, I don't know about you, but Blade was easily one yeah. of my favorite movies yeah. of all time. Yeah, it was great. And then it I saw great. you on, and I was like, of course. Yeah. The man was made for the role. And Wesley, obviously. No, but just, I mean, yes, but I mean, you, it, it seems it, like the natural. Meaning, no, no, just meaning like about what was great about yeah, it. Yeah, like just it's just like, you know. Wesley do his thing and, 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 and introduce that character to the world and, 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 and to see the things that have, have spawned off from right. it, you know? So, um, yeah, I'm, I, I just really appreciate the love and care and energy that goes into those projects, yeah, that yeah. goes into the Marvel projects. Are you excited to kick people? <laughs> yes. Because you don't excited. get you don't kick many people I don't in get your to movies. Kick people in like movies. you, you I feel I'm like always doing a drama exactly. where, where there intense. isn't there isn't kicking. I mean, and punching. there's yeah. gonna be some kicking. There's gonna be some kicking. You know what I'm saying? There's gonna be some kicking. I feel like this will be like a moment where yeah. Mahershala gets yeah, to be like, oh, kick. I haven't <laughs> kicked people in a while in my life. This <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to kick somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, uh, do you, when do you start the training and when, because yeah. I know that's such yeah. a long process. Yeah. Like yeah. A, have we're you started yet? We're, 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 we're in process now. And are you, we're, are, you, we're, are you good with it? Uh, are you, uh, I better get good at it. I'm, I'm, I'm pr If you give me a sword. Yes. I'm not good, but I look good. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So what okay. I used to do as a kid is I'll take, I'll take the sword, because you're going to have to, this move is the yes. most important yes. move with the that sword. Would. That thing, that right? Would. Yeah, yes. and then I would do that. <laughs> And then I'd always like smash things in the house and my mom would, but my mom would say, you looked good yes. and then you messed my shit up. But Got I looked you. good just before that moment. You Got know what I'm saying? We'll put you in an empty space. This is what I'm talking Nothing about. Nothing This is why you're a producer, Just Marshall green Ali. screens around. This, this, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Finding a way to make the actor shine. Yo, man, yes. thank you for joining me on the show. Thank you, brother. Thank you for blessing us continuously. Thank Blessings you. to you and your family. Thank you for having me. I appreciate me. you, my dude. Appreciate great you. Great seeing you again, yes, man. Yes, great seeing you. All right, people, Swan Song will premiere in U.S. theaters and globally on Apple TV Plus on December 17th. You want to watch it. Trust me, you want to watch this thing. <laughs>